tonight's the night. Tonight I go and I party my ass off. Let's not worry about college. Let's not worry about love. Let's not even worry about how I'm going to pay the bills. Tonight is my night and I want to get plastered. Tonight was a special occasion because they were having a fundraiser in my dorm's main hall for one of the new freshmen. He recently found out that he has multiple sclerosis and is struggling really bad in his classes. The only downside is that, since the party is in our main hall, anyone coming in and out of the building has to be carrying a $10 party ticket during the time of the event. It's a little pricey for a college student, but it is going to a good cause, I guess. So I'm finally in, and I look around the room to see if I know anyone. There's this girl that's here, but I can't tell if I know her from somewhere because she's wearing a mask. It's odd that she's the only one wearing a mask, but I figured it was just to stand out from everyone else at the party. Being different can be quite attractive to me. That's what attracted me to my ex. Part of the reason I wanted to get wasted tonight was because I just broke up with my ex. It still feels weird to call her that, but it was for the best. I did have feelings for her, but she just couldn't be there for me emotionally. I needed to be loved and cared for passionately, which was something that she couldn't provide me. The relationship felt meaningless without that passion, thus is why I broke up with her. After I had a couple of drinks in me, I decided to ask the mystery girl to dance. She nodded and followed me out on the dance floor. EDM was blasting out of the speakers and it was very crowded. Being crowded helps if you don't know how to dance because then people can't tell that you don't know how to dance. Five songs or so go by and she starts grinding on me. She pulled my ear close to her lips and whispered in a dark voice, Do you want to get out of here? I quickly agreed and led her to my dorm room. She lifted up her mask just enough so we could make out. We started making out and a few minutes went by. What was weird was that when she kissed me, it felt very lustful. It was that kind of lust where you knew they were putting in their everything just to kiss you. It was like getting a very juicy peach. Everything was going great until I tried to remove her mask completely. She grabbed my hands and shook her head no. She, then, proceeded to grab a pair of handcuffs out of her back pocket and cuffed me to the bed. As soon as she did that, she lifted up her mask. It was her. It was my ex. And it became very clear that she was pissed at me for breaking up with her. Hi, honey. She said as she laid on top of me. Did you miss me? Claire, what are you doing here? I asked. Well, it's not really a party without your girlfriend here, is it? What are you talking about? We broke up. You can't break up with me. We're made to be together. No, we weren't. When I needed emotional support or to be known how much I was loved, you couldn't give that to me. How would you know? You didn't communicate that with me. I could have given you everything you needed and wanted. And for that matter, what about my emotional support? What about knowing how much I was loved? But oh no, let's focus on your own carnal desires. Instead of helping out the only person who had ever truly loved you, I was there for you when no one else was. How can you not see that? At this point, I began to weep. Babe, I'm, I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. I didn't think you loved me. Before I could communicate any further, she put a washcloth in my mouth and said, Shh. No more talking now. We're done with that. She switched from laying on top of me to spooning me. I was truly scared for my life now. I had no idea what she was capable of, nor did I know what she was going to do next. But whatever it was, it did not look promising. She took out a dagger and put her arm over me. You thought I lacked passion? How's this for passion? Can you feel it now? It was at this moment in which I started panicking and never stopped. I screamed at the top of my lungs, but no one could hear me because of the muffled sounds I was giving off. She held me tighter and said, Since you're such an expert on what love feels like, I want you to feel what it's like to break someone's heart. She started bringing the dagger closer and closer to my heart. With every inch, I struggled until it started breaking through the skin. The more the dagger went in me, the less I struggled because I was losing my strength to fight back. Every second was a second of pure torture as I began to see flashbacks of us. I now knew what it meant to break a heart. It's only a shame I knew too late. 
What felt like a century of pure agony was over in only a few moments. As the blood poured from my chest, it formed a large pool underneath me as I started to lose consciousness. Everything had officially come full circle. As she backed away, she sported a huge grin across her face. Before she left, she pulled a ticket from her sleeve and placed it next to mine in my shirt pocket. She had paid for a ticket to my death.